Global Warming and the Role of the Ocean, Toshinari Minobi and Ethan Roth. What is global warming? Global warming is the rise of Earth's temperature being observed over the past 20 years. It is the gradual process that had sped up after time and is thought to have drastic changes on our ecosystem and the way we live, and is largely caused by human activities such as burning fossil fuels, deforestation, and farming. The Greenhouse Effect the greenhouse effect is a natural process where some of the sun's energy is reflected back to space and the rest is absorbed and re-radiated. However, heat is also trapped close to the surface of the earth by these greenhouse gases, causing carbon dioxide and other air pollutants to collect in the atmosphere. The effects of global warming on our earth. The first effect of global warming would be the rising of sea levels due to the increase of temperature. Since the frozen ice in the North and South Poles becomes melted due to the increase of temperature. The second effect would be hurricanes due to the increased temperature in the Earth as a whole, causing disruption in wind patterns and more problems when it comes to the collision of warm and cold air. The third effect would be droughts and heat waves because of, of course, the increased surface temperature from the trapped greenhouse gases in our planet. And the fourth effect of global warming would be habitat disruption through the increase of sea temperatures and land temperatures that affect the living conditions of creatures both on land and sea. The ocean. Little do people know the secret to solving climate change may be in our ocean itself. According to the World Economic Forum, our ocean holds the key to stopping climate change. The ocean's mitigation of absorbing heat and carbon dioxide has far less than the problems caused by climate change, not only in our atmosphere but also in the ocean. The ocean naturally adapts to climate change and naturally protects its ecosystem, which naturally lessens the effects of climate change on both the planet and the ocean itself. Specific heat. The reason why water has the ability to absorb a lot of heat is due to its high specific heat. The specific heat of water requires 4.18 joules of energy to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water to 1 degree Celsius, meaning a lot of energy is required to heat up the ocean. The composition of water. Water is a polar molecule made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom and can exist in gaseous, liquid, and solid states. The high specific heat of water can be explained due to its strong hydrogen bond. Relevant slash social concern. As the ocean continues to absorb carbon dioxide or CO2, the pH level of the ocean water decreases. This is detrimental to the life living under the ocean and the ecosystems such as the coral, coral reefs and other ecosystems down in the ocean. The absorbance of CO2 into the water also decreases the oxygen levels which can again be detrimental to the marine life in the ocean. Little do people know that heat waves we experience on the surface can also be experienced underwater. These marine heat waves are possible due in part by global warming, which is detrimental to, again, the ecosystem in the ocean. As the temperatures rise on the surface, the ice caps start to melt, which also leads to rising sea levels and can flood population centers around the coast, around the globe. Personal opinion. Me and Choshin and I both believe it is very important to know about climate change. The fact that our ocean helps us with climate change we also found to be very fascinating. The effects of climate change are real and we must do what we can to stop it and inform everyone we can to make sure they know about the effects of climate change so they themselves can stop it as well. We're all in this together, so we must solve this fight together as well.